What's going on? It's NTV Backstage Access. I'm your girl Marlene Massasoit. This is Artist Talk. We got... Hey, I'm Prestige. Hey. I'm RP. MP. Hey, who we got back there? Quan the Don. Hey, what up, dude? All right, statement, statement, question, question. Today was parent-teacher conference, as a lot of you know. All right, should teachers carry guns into the classroom or into the school? What are y'all takes on that? What are you saying? I don't think they should. Okay, what are you saying? I, I, I think they should. Okay. I, I think they should because you got to defend yourself. What you going to give you a bucket of rocks so you just throw a rock at somebody coming in? Um, I'm saying what? More likely they're not going to get to use it because they're going to mm -hmm. panic because that's the way we are, where we panic and we forget that the gun mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, that's, that's what I think. Because no, that's, no, they, no. They're Sorry not to cut you off on that one. Okay. Well, I'm looking at it like this now. Okay, just mm -hmm. like when you said they panic. Mm -hmm. What if that person panic and for some reason he feels so threatened by that student that he pulled that gun and he just want to point it? It only would take one bit of a second for that trigger to go off and kill that kid there. So that just giving them, okay, I got a, a weapon that I could actually hurt somebody by mistake or whatever. You know what I mean? But not to so, keep it in the classroom. Keep so you mean, so if it's not in the classroom, okay. so when something happens, they're going to run to the principal and get the gun? <coughs> no, the gun's going to be on them into the classroom. So that means if John picked up Sean and slammed them on the ground and they pushed the, and the, the, the teacher on the ground and he reacts and pop, what? Because he's no way he's gonna carry that gun and don't pull it well, out of the holster. Well, they gotta come up with you something. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -huh. they, they gotta come up with something because a lot of kids dying yeah, yeah. about other kids. Well, killing. that's not the ones like who killing them. Again. The ones who yeah. killing them is the kid who going in the school and shoot up the school. Yes, but again, you know, how are you gonna stop kids from getting guns? Because most, where are the parents? That's why my question is, where okay. are the parents? Yeah. Because if you got your kid. Mm -hmm. And you watch him and you have time with him or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can't tell if he got a gun hidden. You should know your kid. If your kid is out alone and locked up in his room, mm -hmm. talk to him and see what's going on because right. something is wrong with him. Right. Something is wrong with him. Right. So if your kid got a big, you, these guns are big guns yeah. on this bed, I'm going to search my kid's room. Yeah. When he's not yeah. home, I'm the police. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go in there yeah. and check yeah. your room. I know yeah. he's a good kid, and yeah. I, you know, and I trust him. Yeah. But still, you never know. Yeah. Right. They got different type of friends. This friend, this friends, and sometimes mm -hmm. kids feel like I'm gonna do what he does because I wanna be okay. cool like him. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they don't have their own identity mm -hmm. when they grow up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. if you got your kids at home and mm -hmm. you're not like checking in on them because mm. they be like privacy. No, you got mm. privacy when you move out oh, and you guys are job. Yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of people live with me. I'm gonna check your room. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. I wanna know what's going on. Yeah. I don't wanna knock on my door and say, Oh your kid your kid just shot somebody around yeah. the corner and I'm gonna say, Oh, how is this happen? Yeah. Because it wasn't being the parents you're supposed to. Mm. Yeah. That's you deep. Deep. That's I, I'm I'm now, I'm gonna get my perspective. Okay, give me what let um, me hold on one second. I'm gonna say a couple of these and then we'll take your before my phone <laughs> okay so Kendrick's is saying no Bill is saying no Mike Chambers is saying yes Donna is saying no Howard is saying no absolutely not Timothy is saying no uh super MC he chimed in he said no uh Deontay is saying no uh Randy is saying uh something could go wrong um and then Anthony is saying yes uh Michelle is saying no Todd is saying no. He said some other stuff, but no. Uh, Wallace is saying yes. Um, uh, Alan is saying no. Martin is saying no. Amy is saying no. Amy has a book coming out as well. Amy Muhammad. Shout out. What's up, girl? Um, Alex um, is saying no. Willie is saying no. Jerry Flynn, what's up, Flindale, saying no. Uh, Wallace is saying no. Marcel, teachers end up shooting the kids, saying no. Yeah. Um, uh, wow, that's all right. So, so how are they going to do this uh, stuff? Okay. Uh, let's see. And, uh, somebody is saying, okay, Edward is saying they need a wooden pad pad paddle again. Yeah, okay, so yeah. yeah. And they were just talking about that in the teacher's lounge. Like, man, I used to get paddled. Yeah. So I wouldn't do anything I wasn't supposed to do. All right. Uh, Thomas is saying, yeah. He said in Caucasian schools where they need it. Okay, so all right. So now... My phone can die. You can do your thing. All right, so All right let's get it. <laughs> here go my perspective. All right. I'm not going to say yes or no. Okay. I'm going to just give y'all a quote. Okay. A white teacher told a black student that all he going to do is grow up and get shot by the police. 
Now imagine you arming that same white teacher with a gun in a classroom with that black student and she feel like that all his life is worth is him growing up and getting shot by the police. So before she before he gets shot by the police, she gonna shoot She could pop yeah, probably shoot him. There's so much so, going on so like it, 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 like all you do if you arm teachers is give them uh beat the police to probably shooting a, a brown kid. Yeah. Especially if a white person got disdain towards a black or brown person. You know how many like, times in there. Because you see with the cops, they find a way to justify yeah. killing yeah. black and brown people. Right. All you gotta do is have a white person shoot a black child and then pull up his report card. He got one D. Oh, here's a problem. <laughs> he, he, did, 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 he wasn't yeah. performing yeah. well. Now that's so that's real though. Yeah. They so do like, that. Like they they like gonna that. find his. What they gonna say? They they probably bring up his GPA, mm -hmm. saying that he, he was like good. he just he just had problems. He just he had problems. problems. Right and then now, on top of that, he's depressed. Okay, he just killed fifteen people, but he's depressed. So we're gonna stop hey. at McDonald's and get him a burger. You know what I'm saying? If with the black dude, he's gonna get beaten yeah, before, yeah, he, get yeah, yeah, before yeah, he get him yeah. Before he get to the car, he's gonna go Yeah. So basically, all right, his kids going to school, shooting them up, but they're still alive. His kids coming. They have no weapons or anything like that, and they're dead. We got a major issue right now. Oh, well, you see, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bullying, bullying is something big. It's huge. It's, it's so big. Yeah. Why some kids sit down and, and, and they, they get they in them, on them every day. Yeah. And the, the loner doesn't say nothing. Nothing. He get to that breaking point where I'm going to kill them. Yeah. yeah. I'm going yeah. to kill them. And that's what's going on. Yeah. Um, most of these kids are, there was bully. Mm -hmm. Because kids are really cold hearted. They are. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have I mean, they don't have feelings, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They're mm -hmm. gonna tell you some really harsh stuff mm -hmm. and don't even think twice to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when you're young, them stuff break you, right? Yeah. They're breaking you and they don't know. Yeah. They're breaking you where you in a minute you feel I just wanna die. You feel me? Where some of them hang themselves. Mm -hmm. You have this one where I seen this nine-year-old kid hang himself with his necktie. Because he go to school every day with a necktie because he wants to wear a necktie. He wants to look good. But the other kids bugging him that he looked too nerdy. He hang himself with the same necktie, and he was nine years old. And I'm like, okay, this this is not even right. But you see, if you you could tell if your kid is a little bully, mm -hmm. you could tell. You can. That's the mm -hmm. mouth, the little mouth yeah, ones who want to talk yeah. and don't want to listen and mm -hmm. feel like they're grown. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Listen, and kids, the thing is, our kids at my home, when I feel like they're getting too antsy on mm -hmm. another kid, yeah. I. Hey, I will put my well, foot see, on their neck because the I don't got raised the, 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 the fault is the parents because the parents tell the kids, you're lucky I can't beat you because home perfection service is going to come uh, get yeah. you. Yeah, CPS. Why it's a world of, it's a world of gentle teaching now. Yeah. Why are you telling them that? Yeah. It's a world of gentle teaching now, man. Beat like, the crap out of them. Yeah. Why are you so telling much, them that? Why are you telling him that? That's because making, like make him he, he got he got something to you. Hey, don't touch me. Yeah, you give him a psychological evaluation. Yeah. Hey, exactly to kind of he have you under control. Mm -hmm. Mama, don't talk to me like that. I'm gonna call CPS. <laughs> right. I That's want I, I want five dollars. And yeah. you say no, I'm gonna call CPS and tell him that you're not feeding. Yeah. You see? That's crazy. When I was That's young, weird. I get whooping. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. I got the rule in my hand because yeah. I fall asleep. <laughs> you know I mean? And the teacher said, if you close your hand, I'm going to start counting yeah. all over again. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And did I go home and tell my mom, you crazy? Because mm -hmm. I'm going to tell her the reason why I got whooping in my yeah. hand. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it to myself and stay mm -hmm. off the next time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I love they it. need to do stuff like that yeah. in school. Mm -hmm. Now, now I, I can't gonna get up and speed up a teacher and kick her. The teacher is there to teach you. Yeah. That's her job. Yeah. She don't do it because she want to. Yeah. That's her job. You know what I'm saying? Look, she, she, she love it because you gotta love it yeah. to make kids yeah. disrespect yeah. you. Yeah. I don't think I would do it because, man, <laughs> they would have to grab me because somebody's kids gonna get broken. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm there to, to, to teach you for better yourself mm. and you disrespect It's just that this generation is so disrespectful. Yes. Yeah. But they, it's, they don't it's have from the, home. It's, yeah. no it's more, coming yeah, from it's, home. Yeah. Yeah. But, you you know, know, but even it's, it's home mm. and it's still a society that I'm growing up. And I was gonna say that. Excuse me. Like, 
the society really has stripped away accountability. Mm. You cannot hold nobody accountable. Yeah. The first thing somebody want to do is get offended. Yeah. And yeah. They hold Ooh. them accountable or say you're yeah. picking mm. on them. Like, we live in a hypersensitive society where you, no, no, you can't say that. No, no, you can't do that. I see this lady standing like they coddle everybody. Woman standing in Myers with her kid. And she told him, leave that. And he turned around and he said, shut up, B. Oh, he's probably like five or six years. Okay? And and she says, everybody looked around like, man, you better whoop him. Everybody looked looking at her like, and she says, he don't know better. <sighs> well, let me tell you something. Somebody's calling you a B yeah. in front of him. Mm -hmm. Right. He don't know better. You're oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. But the one who calling you that know yeah. better. Yeah. And he's showing your kid to call mm. you that. Yeah. You should have wham him on that mouth. Yeah. Because if he don't know better, he's gonna yeah. know that that's bad. Because yeah. Boy, right out yeah. the mouth, right across the yeah. mouth. Yeah. Oh my. She God. just standing there and said, like, he don't know better. Mm -hmm. Everybody looking like, man, I would take my belt off. <laughs> So. And she turned around and she said, come here, shut up, my Okay, I, I got to, wait, I got to comment on oh, this. Yeah. Because, you know, I hear so many women say they, they can't find a good man in X, Y, and Z. Women, as women, I got to speak yeah. to my women. <laughs> I got to speak to my women because I know a lot of good men. A lot of good single men at that. But anyway, I got to say this about our men. Women, nine times out of ten, what are you raising? How are you raising that man? We need our brothers in our lives. We need our men. I love men. Yeah. My dad taught me, and my mother, they're still together and everything, but my dad taught me what a real man looks like. And I know we're nothing without a man. We got and we need our men. So women, if you're teaching this child not to be accountable, then nine times out of ten, that's what you're getting back. Mm -hmm. So if you're raising a man and not letting him be that man that he needs to be mm -hmm. because you let him call you bees yeah. because he doesn't know better yeah. or you're paying this this or helping with that and, that, and not letting him be a man mm -hmm. nine times out of ten you're the problem first yeah. so I gotta say that mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah continue on so, but I had to say that so when we say gun this gun violence is a society thing we got mm -hmm. That's what uh, a combination of kids being bullied mm -hmm. yeah uh, it's, it's a, a combination of you know, kids not being held accountable, mm -hmm. which make yeah. kids bullies. Mm -hmm. right. um, another thing, just guns are Ooh. too accessible in the home. Mm -hmm. They are growing um, up, the kids are growing up numb. In the book of the day. Oh. Oh. numb. Oh. Oh. Where well, they don't feel no right. remorse. Because no, now there we're is gonna, nothing we're there. It's like a little, little, video game. Yeah. We're going to throw a little religion oh. in this. Yeah. In the book of Revelation, they said this is the last generation. Mm. There will no be no other after mm. us. Mm. And you know, most people could interpret that however you want to see that. If the world going to explode or whatever. Mm. But we're looking on a lack of, what can I say, reproduction mm. between man and woman. Oh, wait. We're Speak. looking at a generation dude with dude and woman with woman yeah. and say it's okay in come the society. On, come on, so now. we're no longer going to reproduce like no. the way God made us come to on. do it. You see what I'm saying? Now yeah. we're going to go to the sperm bank and get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, oh, are we going to make homework carry it? You see what I'm saying? So now we just live in life wow. like we don't have nothing to pay for. You see what I'm saying? And all this wow. stuff, we're going to pay for it one day because it's already written. We just following the papers right now. You see what I'm saying? So if, if humanity don't want to look at it and change what is already written and write something new, mm. this is already happened. Mm. We're talking about everything what you're seeing right now when it mm. comes down to everything what's open to our kids. Because mm. my daughter come home and she say, oh, in the school, we got a gay society where they... They support all of them and you know they got their rights, you know, when they go into the stuff. I understand okay. that. But give mm. my kids a right to have a choice. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. You don't feed it to the media and give it to them and say it's okay. Mm. Mm. You don't change their clothes and putting them into that clothing where you see it looks feminine and mm. saying it's okay. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, that's so where they growing up with that, dear that mm. 10 years from now, I'll give it 10 years. 
we can't go to the club as old school because it's going to be a massive nastiness going on in there. Oh. Because you're going to go to the club and that dude going to be checking you out and sending you a drink. Uh -uh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Then <laughs> your girl checking out the other chick because yeah. now everything is open. Yeah. Nobody thinks yeah. like what we're thinking right mm -hmm. now and that's what society is coming to. And that's when them say the world is coming to an end. Numb. Mm -hmm. Because can you imagine when everybody oh. start thinking openly like that? Right. Numb. That's crazy. That's there right. Is, it just, it just. Nothing is wrong. Everything is. Yeah, everything, everything, everything there is, goes. There is, and again, even with the violence, is no remorse. Is no yeah. regret. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. None of that. Yeah. You know this saying? generation is yeah. numb. It's going they, really they just, yeah. like, like it's bad. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's written. I read the Bible when yeah. I was a child. When I'm going to church, mm. every time my grandma, mm. you know, I used to always ask her questions because yeah. I see. Paragraph in there where it's open. Don't you notice this this year and last year the first time you've seen so many gun violence like as far as yeah this, this yeah it been since Trump, Trump the yeah, president yeah. it increased it increased increased massively massively yeah, yeah. I didn't hear it when Obama was no president. no right I didn't I, well, yeah. it wasn't happening that much yeah but it started with the shooting in Las Vegas mm -hmm. right after that these copycats all over all over and the kids are the one doing it yeah and the thing is they cannot stop it they don't they, they don't see you can't stop something what you know is like is a billion no we are 1.5 billion people mm. okay and out of that 20 or 30 40 thousand something is wrong with so, here yeah again and you can't that, tell either it's yeah. like this, you say, you can't, you can't, you can't put up the gun place, okay, don't sell the insane, because you don't know who is the insane. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The insane can't just put in a two-piece suit 